Hey guys, it is Mirror Simmer, and welcome back to part 27 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. Um, as you can see, um, right now you're looking at little Elsie, our baby born in the last part's new little nursery. Um, probably she pretty much took over poor Lee's room, but I actually have no idea when Lee's gonna be coming back. Um, so sorry about my camera, it's like, what is it doing? But, um... Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did. I pretty much had Elsie take over poor poor Lee's room. He's going to come back as a teenager and be like, wait, what? Um, but anyways, it's very girly themed. Since I told you she was going to be kind of our girly, preppy, drama girl, you know? Um, so it's pretty much purple and pink themed. She has the purple polka dotted crib, pink walls, pink curtains, a little nightlight down here, and three adorable posters. That girl from Wreck-It Ralph, I totally don't remember her name. I'm so sorry. Um, some Minnie and Mickey Mouse and Rapunzel. And over here I just put a random little rocking horse. Nothing too special. And then also she has her little, her little teddy bear in here. Um, but yeah, today, um, is currently the day before Spooky Day. And I'm planning for the kids to do some trick-or-treating since Ace is going to be aging up tomorrow, Spooky Day. Just it's insane that he's gonna be a young adult. Like, what? <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I wanted him to at least do a little bit more pranking and trick-or-treating before he ages up into an adult. I'm also thinking of aging Faith up in this part, even though it's um, two days earlier than when she actually needs to age up. I just feel like she's been a toddler forever, and we've really taught her all the stuff that she needs to know. Plus, I want her to, like, actually go trick-or-treating with her teenage brothers so they're just not, like, lame teenagers going trick-or-treating, you know? Um... But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so let's see, is anybody awake yet? Um, the kids are about to wake up for school. And I have no idea when Lee will be coming home. It's just like, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, Sha what is Shaggy doing? Aw. Shaggy, Shaggy's so old and he's adorable. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead... Let's see, I think maybe I'll go ahead and age Miss Little Miss Faith up kind of early today. Um, just so that everybody gets to see it and maybe she'll get a chance to go to school. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase her a little birthday cake. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going ahead. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have everybody wake up. And then Marina will go ahead and bring Little Faith to the cake. I'm kind of planning for Faith to be a little bit of like a tomboy, maybe. I don't really know what I want her to be. I got these really cute Sailor Moon posters, so I'm thinking maybe she'll be into like anime and stuff. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Faith, it's your birthday. I don't know, just to me, it feels like she's been a toddler forever. And yeah, I just want to like play with like an actual girl. And I'm wondering who she will look like. Like most of the boys in this family so far have looked a lot like Mr. Derek here, but I wonder what the girls will look like, if they'll look more like Marina or what. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and age Little Faith up early. I know it's before she's actually supposed to age up, but whatever, whatever. And it's raining again! It's crazy, it's been raining like non-stop. Overnight when they were sleeping they had gigantic thunderclaps, it's just crazy. And what Marina needs to do today is some laundry, because, like, it is insane. There's so much laundry. Oh my gosh, but look at little Faith aging up. Let me go ahead and take a screenshot. Aw, cutie. <laughs> do you see Ace in the background? He's just like, do not care. Do not. <laughs> um, but yeah. Aw, everyone's all excited. Marina's being a great mom. No, she's coming. He's coming. Poor Elsie's like all alone up there, but whatever, Elsie, we don't need you. <laughs> Alrighty, little Faith, it's time for you to age up. Hey, Marina. Cuties. Alrighty, let's go ahead and see how Faith will age up. Ready, Faith. We're waiting. She's getting all cross-eyed. That's like the signature thing. Alrighty, here she goes. Alrighty. 
Due to during her modest early development, you will not be allowed to choose a trait from Faith. She's developed the loves the cold trait, which is interesting. I guess it works. And let's take a look at little Faith. How freaking cute is she? Look at her. She's like really pretty too. Okay, her outfit is like ratchet, but look at her. Such a cutie, man. Alrighty, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go into create a sim and do all her outfits. And then I will um, show her to you guys in um, create a sim. Alrighty, Alrighty guys. guys, so here is little Miss Faith Porter. As you can see, she is pretty much the cutest little thing ever. Um, She has blue eyes, like I believe all of the kids so far have had. She has definitely her dad's nose. Um, Derek's nose is definitely like... I believe, like, most of the kids have pretty much gotten his nose. But she has the most adorable little pudgy cheeks and perfect... Like, she has a really nice ear shape, just saying. But she's just so cute. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this is her. She's just... She's gonna be kind of a tomboy, kind of a little crazy. Just, she's gonna be a little bit of everything. Like, she's not gonna be super girly like Elsie, but she's not gonna be, like, rocker chick, you know? <laughs> um... But yeah, here she is. She's super cute. I went ahead and just put her hair in a simple little ponytail. Um, as for her clothes, I pretty much just did pretty casual things with a twist. As you can see, she rocks some bright colors here with her green and purple. And some random little rain boots. She's just too adorable. For her formal wear, I just went ahead and put this on her. She's really not the type to wear dresses. She just, you know, if she has to be formal... That's, like, as far as she'll go. I put her in some adorable little onesie pajamas with some... Whoops, what am I doing? <laughs> with some adorable cat slippers. Um, and for her athletic wear, even though we aren't really going to use it. Just that. It's, it's She's so adorable. Here I did the adorable little bikini from the Sims 3 store, except I recolored it in blue, since Faith's not really the type to go for pink. This is neon pink. Um, and then here's her outerwear. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, here's little Faith Porter. I think she is like the most adorable freaking thing ever. I just want to eat her up. She's so cute. Um, but yeah, there is our first girl in the Porter family. I wonder what Elsie is going to look like. Like, the last couple kids have gotten um, Marina's genetics. But I wonder if Elsie will get Derek's this time or not. Who knows? But yeah, here's little Faith. She's so cute. And she actually doesn't have to go to school today. Slay, slay Faith. Look at, look at Shaggy. He's being so cute. Okay. Um, but the kids actually have to head to school today, which kind of sucks. The boys do, at least. And Faith's just like, haha, suckers. I get to, I get to stay home and eat my cake. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, apparently Elsie got an imaginary friend and we have to pay our bills, so we might as well do that. Look at her. She's so cute. I don't, I don't know what she will do today. Um, actually, I need to go ahead and come up here and redo her room a bit. So I guess I will go ahead and do that. And then I'll okay, see you guys, guys So I went ahead and decorated Little Faith's room. I took way too long in. Ugh, I took way too long in it. And for some reason, I just really love it. Like, if I was a little kid, I would have been jealous of Faith's room right here. Okay? So I went ahead and pretty much kept the blue theme. I went ahead and gave her a loft bed with some adorable little owl print on it. Underneath in underneath is like a little area with all her little with some little pillows and stuffed animals and it's like so cute. Like that was me when I was a little kid. I had so many stuffed animals like all over the place on my bed, over there, 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 it's like everywhere. But yeah, I went and gave her a little giraffe, unicorn, octo, cat, whatever. Um, and then over here, I went ahead and put a little rack with a little coat and a, a backpack. Sorry, I can't talk. Uh, gosh. Okay. And then I went ahead and gave her a costume chest as well. And over here, I gave her two little posters. Here is a adorable panda poster, and here is also a Sailor Moon poster. I love Sailor Moon. <laughs> um, and then also over here is a little dollhouse, because she still has kind of a girly side. Um, so yeah, this little face room, I don't know why, but I freaking love it, and she has also has a little, a rug here. Uh, yeah, I cannot tell you why, but I'm, like, in love with Faith's room. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm in love with Faith. Okay. 
<laughs> so anyways, Faith luckily does not have school today. She like aged up right as school was starting. So she gets to just stay home and enjoy her cake. She wants to wear a costume, let Penny sniff her hand, and feed Penny a treat. Aww. And the poor boys are at school. Uh, might as well work on her late homework. Uh, Caden actually did his homework. Props to Caden. Um, someone needs to go take care of Elsie. So Derek, maybe once you finish your cake, um, why don't you go ahead and um, where's Elsie? Oh my gosh, I'm so horrible. Um, we need to go ahead and give Elsie some social. Um, so why don't you go ahead and snuggle her a little bit and play with her. And Marina, you want to have another child? Are you serious, Marina? I don't know about that. I'll go ahead and promise that for her, but I seriously don't know. I think we're pretty much done having kids. And also she wants to travel to Egypt. And what I'm thinking is maybe once Lee gets back, we the family will actually go on a vacation. So in the comments, you guys should let me know. Do you want to go to Egypt, France, or um, China? Um, I might make a straw poll for that as well. Um, but yeah, I really do want to go on a little family vacation sometime in this LP. And I think maybe once Lee gets back, that would be a good time to go ahead and do it. Um, so Marina, why don't you go ahead and wash up the dishes. Um, and then we need to finally do some laundry because it has been piling up like forever. I guess we have to get the clean laundry too. Alrighty. Um, but Derek is coming up to take care of little Elsie. And as for Faith, she's like, yeah, oh look at Shaggy, hi Shaggy. Go ahead and feed Shaggy a tree and talk to him a little bit. She wants to learn the writing skill, which might be interesting. Um, I'm trying to think, maybe we'll sign Faith up for ballet, but maybe we won't. I don't know, Elsie would probably be more into ballet. Look at her little cat slippers, I can't, she's so cute. And she actually wanted to feed a treat to Kenny, so we'll go ahead and do that as well. And also, we'll go ahead and awe at Kenny. <laughs> and Derek is up here with little Elsie. And his phone is ringing. Great. Aww. I wonder what Elsie will look like. I kind of want her to look like Derek, because I kind of want a girl that looks like Derek. I don't know. I do not know. Go to Egypt and jog for four hours. No, we might go to Egypt, but... Oh my gosh, look at little face with with Shaggy. He's so cute. <laughs> I will literally be crying when Shaggy dies. Like, I'm not even kidding. I will. Alright, um, go ahead and give Elsie a little bottle. And then Faith. Oh my gosh, we should go on the the, the rocking. Oh my gosh, look at little, little Kenny. Aww. Aww, aww, aww. Alrighty, and where's Penny at? Penny's up here in her room, so Oh gosh, catch a fish, no. Um, go ahead and let Penny sniff your hand since you want to do that. Apparently all the dogs just want to hang out in Faith's room. Um, Marina? Marina, why are you making waffles? I told you to do lo the laundry, what are you doing? Marina, Marina what? You're not even hungry, what are you doing, Marina? Marina what? <laughs> okay, Marina, seriously. Did no one even, yeah, maybe we had something. Rena, you're determined with those waffles, okay? Stop, Rena, Rena, cut it out. Put those waffles away. Why don't you go ahead and change into, put them on the floor, okay. Change into your everyday outfit and go ahead. Did you already grab the clean laundry? Yes, we did. Go ahead and do some laundry because it is overdue to get that done. I love her little outfit plaid. Um, Ace is hungry. Do they like not feed the children at school? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Apparently, um, Faith knows what she wants to be. She's like the little evil queen here. Can we, like, boss Derek around or something? <laughs> I want to. Um, go ahead and announce your birthday, your, your royal highness, Faith. Who wants to play in the Gosh! Like, it's my birthday, Dad! He's like, really? I totally did not know that. <laughs> so cute. Go ahead and, and give him a hug. Aww, so cute. Um, why don't you go ahead and admire him? And I think Faith is actually going to go ahead and take a little nap so that she has some energy for her trick-or-treating later today. 
Derek, do you have work today? Yes, he does. He starts in about three hours. And who peed here? Probably, like, Shaggy. Faith, what's up? Can you not get up there? Because I put pillows there. Nope, she can get up. <laughs> Look at her in her little gown. So cute. But yeah, she's going to go ahead and take a nap so that she has all her energy for some trick-or-treating later today. Look at her. He's so cute. Alrighty. Um, Derek... She wants to do some raking, but I don't really know if we have any leaves out in the yard. Yeah, we don't really have any trees that produce leaves. And it's, like, so dark out, really. Um, I don't know, Derek. You can just do whatever you want. Marina, did you get the laundry going? Yes, she did. Good good girl. Good girl, Marina. Um, but actually, she's going to go ahead and head over um, to her... Oh, gosh, what? Okay. I don't know why that happened, um, but Marina is actually going to go ahead and head on over to her laptop, and, oh my gosh, <laughs> um, mm. I actually kind of wanted to sign Caden up for something, so, why don't you go ahead and sign Caden up for shop club, I think he would be good for that. And then, um, Ace is already in sports club. So. Oh, look at Derek doing the laundry. What a, what a good father. But, um, Ace had actually booby-trapped Marina's computer to give her, like, a scary computer thing. So let's go ahead and, um, see how this turns out. <laughs> Terrifying, to be honest. <laughs> it's the werewolf from The Sims 2. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How, what will Marina's reaction be, though? <laughs> I love this. I, I love that. Good. You go, Ace. You go, Ace. Marina's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Alrighty, but we're gonna go ahead and sign Caden up for Shop Club. Scared. Scaredy cats are scared of pretty much everything, but they really show it when their life flashes before their eyes. All because of the werewolf. Not the werewolf. The Bigfoot. What was that? What was I talking about? From Bigfoot from Sims 2. Yeah. Marina! Marina, are you okay? Do not do that. Jeez. Jesus, Marina. Jesus. Alright, but Kitten is now signed up for Shop Club. Working with your hands is a great feeling as you carve and chisel away the wood pieces. Handiness skill is bound to be improved in this club. I think that's a good club for him, but Marina actually needs to go use the bathroom. Um, so once she go, once she does that, um, is something broken in here, or is there just dogs peeing? Oh my gosh. Okay, go ahead and clean the toilet, and then you can go ahead and use it. And then why don't you continue writing the uh, legend of Hindy Nose? And the kids come home in about thirty minutes, so I'm thinking they'll kind of get their trick or treating started pretty early. Look at little Faith. She's adorable. I love her. I really do. She wants to meet a supernatural. I'm thinking in the next part we will throw a little costume party. Oh yeah, look, something is broken in here. Derek, why don't you make yourself useful and go ahead and repair the shower? And what do you want to do? Who wants to see Faith get on the honor roll? Well, we can try, but I always forget to have the kids do their homework. Oops. Yeah, we Let's actually need to teach. We need to teach Caden how to drive, but I'm actually kind of scared to do that. <laughs> Honestly, okay, Marina, go ahead and use the toilet before you'll pee yourself. That might be a good idea, just saying. Um, and then she's going to go out and continue... Can you bring this inside? I don't know. Anyways, um, she's going to go ahead and continue... Continue writing the legend of Tiny Nose. And Derek reached level 5 handiness skill, which I guess is okay, since things are always breaking. And now he's heading off to play in his game for his job, so hopefully that will go good for him. Um... So yeah, the kids are heading home from school right about now, and I'm thinking that Ace will um, do some pranking before the kids head out to trick-or-treat. Because, you know, it's pretty much his last day of being a teenager. I think we should do some um, hardcore, not hardcore, but do a little bit of pranking. Um, so let's see, we really don't, we like, honestly live in the middle of nowhere. Um, let's see, can we come prank this house? Ooh, it's almost time to trick-or-treat. I'm so excited. Ah, uh, there's no one home here. Um, we literally live in the middle of nowhere, honestly. <laughs> like, all the houses are over here, so maybe when they start trick-or-treating, then, I don't know. I don't know, but, 
yeah, I think maybe we'll just get our trick-or-treating started early so that we can, like, get... We can get a lot of candy, if you know what I'm saying. So, um, Faith is about to go play in the clubhouse. But instead of doing that, why don't you go ahead and change into your costume? Let's see. There's so many things that we could be. So, let's see. We could be a bunny, a burglar, clown, cow plant, cow plant mask, Dilbert. I have no idea what that is. Diver, Geolad, Gnome, Hot Dog, Llama Boy, Morku, Muscle Kid, Oregon, Pirate, Roman Soldier, 6AM Alien, 6AM Alien Mask, Sparzian Alien, Tiger, and that's about it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and have a little Miss Faith be, kind of want to make her be a hot dog. Yep, Faith, you're being a hot dog. She's kind of quirky like that, so. Cutie. <laughs> Alrighty, so she's a hot dog. Um, as for Kate, oh, Kaden has shop club. Uh, too bad for you, Kaden. <laughs> um, yeah, Kaden will have to join up with us later. Um, but let's see, what will Ace be? I think Ace should be. Let's see, he has a couple different. Whoops. Maybe he should be a burglar, actually. Or he could be a skeleton. Rock star. Hmm. Yeah, Kaden's gonna be a not Kate. Ace. Ace is gonna be a burglar. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so the kids are going to, uh, I mean, how do you talk, guys? I forgot. Tell me. Alright, um, Ace and Faith are going to go ahead and go trick or treat. Literally, where are the houses in this town? Alright, um, why is there nobody home, like, ever? Oh my gosh, why is, like, everybody, like, not here? Right, um, trying to find a house where somebody's home, but I guess not. I mean, whatever. Oh, this is a barn, okay. <laughs> um, I think they're gonna have to actually wait for a little bit because it seems like a lot of people are out. Um, but let's see, maybe he'll just um, kind of talk to his sister for a little bit and then we can wait for Caden to get home. So, why don't you go ahead and talk let's see let's play rock paper scissors with her just be a cute a cute big brother for her for a bit and then marina is um down here working on her book good good what shaggy up to sleeping on the couch he's so cute um oh my gosh she can towel along slay shaggy slay <laughs> look at little faith in her hot dog costume i love it come on come on Complain about school to your sister. Um, talk about the rain. When does Kaden get out? He gets out at 4 p.m. So yeah, that'll be good. We can just kill a little bit of time and wait for Kaden to get back. Let's see, Faith, why don't you go ahead? Oh gosh, no. You know what? You know it'd be super cute, and we haven't actually done this yet. Um, but one of the new interactions with generations is telling ghost stories, and I think since it's close to spooky day i think this would be a perfect opportunity to go ahead and do that okay well how, how about you wait until she goes to pee okay and i guess Caden gained some handiness skill from his shop class which is good okay really quickly let faith go pee and then you can tell her your little spooky story must ace he wants to do a strength workout i can't believe he's gonna age up tomorrow guys that's crazy so crazy. Um, uh, look at that little hot dog using the toilet. So cute. Alrighty. I wish Lee was here today that he could go trick-or-treating. But, alrighty. No, don't go play with Elsie. Go ahead and tell her a ghost story then. This interaction is super cute. Or he could just get stuck awkwardly. He's like literally just like shoving himself at his sister. Please stop, Ace. That is very creepy. <laughs> okay, you could tell the story or you could just stand there. I guess he's not telling the story. Oh well. Um, but Caden is currently heading home and that is good because we can go ahead and um, do... Go out trick-or-treating. He's going to share a secret with his little sister. How cute. I think Kitten is definitely going to dress up as an alien. <laughs> definitely, guys. Oh, look at them talking. 
Alrighty, um, Kaden, why don't you go ahead, and we're getting paid for the Legend of Tiny Nose Slay. Um, Kaden's gonna go ahead and change into his little 6 a.m. alien mask. So scary. Alrighty, but hopefully now more people are actually at home. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, um, so let's go ahead and do, 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 do. Hit this house. Why does nobody live anywhere? Gosh, okay. Maybe somebody lives there. We'll go there. Okay. <gasps> Yay, someone's actually there. Okay, so let's go ahead and trick or treat with Faith and Caden. Yay, I love trick or treating. And it's actually like fall time in the real world too, so it's like perfect. Oh, Alrighty, it's time for the kids to head out. Friends, the day we we have been waiting for, patiently waiting for, is uh, finally upon us. Spooky day and Spooky Day Eve. Now let's go take what's ours. Review will have no idea what hit him. Yes, Ace, you go, boy. Um, Marina, why don't you go ahead and stop writing the Legends of Tiny Nose for a little bit and actually take care of Elsie? <laughs> Might be a good idea. Going pro, go to the stadium. Why would we be going in the festival sports career? Eddie, why don't you go ahead and play with Elsie and snuggle her and give her a little bottle? Okay, literally, I just told you guys to go trick-or-treating. Okay. Apparently, face the only one. Okay. What, 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 what is, what has happened? Alright, um, I guess I, I... <laughs> okay, um... Okay, are you, are you guys going? Why is this so hard? Alrighty, I think they're going now. Maybe. Possibly. Yeah, they're, they're going. They're going, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, so here comes Ace the Burglar. Remember a while ago in this LP when we got burgled? Burgled. <laughs> Look at him, he's gonna drive them. Yas, Ace, you're so cute. He's such a good big brother, I love him. Alrighty, but they're heading out to go, to go some trick-or-treating, guys. Heading out to do some trick-or-treating. Make my way downtown, steal your candy. Ice cream truck's like, oh yeah, that totally wasn't coming for you guys. <laughs> Alrighty, but here they are at our first stop for trick or treating, and they actually have like a dog in there. Hi, hi, dog. How you doing? Alrighty. But hopefully they give us some candy. I want to get a picture of the squad. Our little trick or treating squad. Oh, it's like a little old. Is that the old lady that was at the park when the meteor hit? I, I, th I, I think it is, guys. I, I honestly, I think it is. Here we are with the uh, trick-or-treating squad. Let me just get... Why can't I take a picture of you guys? Stop, okay? Stop. Oh, Derek's team won the game. That's good. All right, so it's going to go ahead and ring the doorbell. Derek got a promotion to team captain. He's really getting up there. What level is he right now, actually? He's level 7 in the professional sports career, so yas, you go. Alrighty, so this old lady better open the door and give us our candy. Come on. Okay, come on, guys. Whoa, well, I don't know what just happened there, but guys, this is the exact same old lady that was there when the meteor hit with all the dogs and she literally has not showered or changed her clothes oh my gosh, since what is then. happening okay but wow. wow come on give us a canned canned all right well ace is gonna get the candy i guess so no one else is paying attention He's like, all right, old lady. Oh my gosh. Look at it. I like how nobody else is, like, caring. Oh, I need to get a picture of this. Oh my gosh. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Adorable. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. Boom! Candy in the bag. Ace will never forget that first time yelling trick or treat paid off. Sorry, I'm new to this. What do I do? I give candy to you guys? Weird. Okay, seriously, old lady, come on. Mm -hmm. 
Rooney. Come on, I want I want the other kids to get candy too. Come on, are they done now or something? Okay. Wait, give us candy. <gasps> Yay! She's gonna give Faith candy also. Okay, Ace, you, you have to wait. Aw, look at little Faith. How could you say no to that face? How could you say no to that face? How could you say no? I mean, that face, on the other hand, I can imagine you saying no to that, but... Aww. Sweet, I just scored an evil Mr. Gnome. Did she give us a gnome? Why did... She, she gave us a gnome. Is, a what? <laughs> Alrighty, but... Yay, now Caden will finally get his candy. It's probably like... Making this old lady pee herself right now with his costume, to be honest. Aw. Look at him. Black put in the bag, girl. Cute. Alrighty. No, you guys can't go home. We've only been to one house. Stop it. Stop it, you guys. Stop. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit this house. Wait, is... Nobody lives here. Cool. Alright, uh, then let's hit this house, maybe. Nobody lives here. Wow, okay, okay, true. Um, <laughs> trying to find houses that we can head to. Because we only stopped at one house. You just can't stop there. Seriously. <gasps> Yay, there's people here. Okay, why don't you guys go ahead trick-or-treating. All the way over there, but we have to hit at least one more house. Candy, 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 candy. True, Faith. True. I agree. <laughs> she is, like, literally the cutest thing ever. Shake that ass. Okay, that was so scary. Um, let's hope I never do that again. <laughs> Alrighty, are you guys going? Come on. Come on. I still don't know why that old lady gave us a note. Hey, she has, like, a husband. I don't even know. Who knows? Alrighty, are you guys going? Yes, they are! Alrighty, so let's head to one more house, at least. Um, Ace will be your chauffeur today. And he actually wants to become a superstar athlete, just like his dad, which is super cute, but... I don't really know what I want him to do. I was kind of thinking, maybe... Maybe have him do... I know that's kind of an ambitious thing, but I'm thinking maybe he will be a firefighter. I'm not really sure what I want him to do, but... That's, like, one thing. Um, but yeah, hopefully somebody... Somebody will uh, open up the door for us here. Yeah? Alrighty, Faith, go ahead and ring that doorbell. Even though the only one with a costume on right now is Caden. It's whatever. You still get candy. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. We're waiting here. Yay, this little lady is coming out. Good. Good, good. I want to hit at least one more house if we can before curfew. It takes forever because, like, all all these old people, man. Oh, it's an old werewolf. Scary, scary AF. Scary AF. But. Oh, nice. She's a nice little old werewolf. How, how, how cute. No way. I had that same costume when, when I was a kid. Here's a little something extra. Okay. Okay. We're not wearing a costume, but okay. Okay. Alright, Mrs. Werewolf, give us some candy. Candy. Come on, give the others. Alrighty, let's go ahead and have Caden get his... Why are they fighting? Stop, guys. Stop it. Alrighty, go ahead and give Ace his... Aw, look at little Ace. He's just like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, put it in the bag, girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cute. Alrighty. No way! It's a Wugglesworth Snuggles Bear score. Ace, Ace, you are almost a grown man. You need to not, okay? Alright, now finally, Caden will go ahead and get his, hopefully. And then hopefully we will head to one more house. Come on! Werewolf Lady, stop scratching your butt and give us some candy. Do we not get any? Oh, she's gonna ask for a bedtime story. Come on, we have to hit one more house. Okay, finally, she's giving us the candy. 
And Faith's Kabuna. Porter's curse. <laughs> Faith Porter's curfew was in effect in an hour. Maybe she should head home or find an adult. Um, I can I want to go to one more house, but at the same time, I don't want to get in trouble. Is there anyone here? Um. Hmm. Oh. Well, if they're if they still want to go, I mean, I don't know. She still wants to go, so. Faith, what are you doing? Everyone's getting pretty tired, but I want to head to at least one more house. Alrighty. Yeah, they're gonna hit one more house, I suppose. Yep, we'll go ahead and hit this one. There's nobody home right now. What are you guys doing? Stop it. Alrighty. Guys, there's no one there. Stop. What? How can they be out in the most important night of the year? Lame. I know, Faith. I know, right? I know, right? But they're actually heading to more. Faith does not care. Faith does not care about her curfew. Ace is just... Oh my gosh. Faith does not care about her curfew. She wants that candy. She she will get it, guys. Oh my gosh, it's our old... No, I thought it was our old house, but it's not. Guys, why are you going to all the ones that nobody is there? <laughs> Stop. Well, at least she has some motivation. She's like literally dragging her brothers there. What? How could they be out in the most important night of the year? Yeah, you guys need to go home. You need to go home. Um, but actually, Ace, before you go home, uh, before you go home, why don't you go ahead and throw some eggs at the house, since, you know, that's something that some people do on Halloween. Even though the person that owns the house is, like, literally right there. They won't notice, guys. <laughs> Look at him throwing his eggs at the house. Look at her, like, literally right there. She's like, oh, hello, <laughs> young man. What you doing there? Nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> She's just like, mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, Ace, why don't you go ahead and head home? The others are already heading home. And um, I guess Faith will have to eat a bit of her spooky day candy before she heads on to bed. All the kids got some candy. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, Ace is going to be aging up into a young adult, which is pretty freaking crazy. It's also going to be officially spooky day, and we will probably throw a costume party and carve up some pumpkins. Um, and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this part. Um, if you enjoyed this part, make sure to leave a like on it. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next part. Bye, guys. Love you so much. Wow, that was so stupid. <laughs>